In this, in this video tutorial hangout, we're going to learn, look at using PixOil, which is a uh, video editing and creation app. What I'm going to do is take us to my PixOil. I'll have to click on screen share and we'll get to PixOil by way of a little wormhole that's about to appear. Yep, here we go. And we're going to come up on the other side in PixOil, right there. Um, when you log into PixOil, you should do so using your Google information. And when you get into the app, what you'll find is that you've landed in your library of videos. Um, these are all videos that I have available to me to edit or have already been edited. Uh, one difference you'll see among some of them is that some of the videos have the Google Drive icon on the bottom right corner. This means exactly what it seems to mean, that these videos are in Google Drive and are available to use in Pixorial. If you want to use them, you would simply click on them and a button will appear saying add to Pixorial. There's a bit of processing that goes on. And once it's imported to Pixorial, they're available for editing purposes. You can see these other videos already have been edited. They don't have the Drive icon, so they're available to use in Pixorial. Um, I can add videos several ways. I can upload a video from my computer as well. The upload multiple videos is something you want to stay away from. All that does is ask you to install some software, given the fact that we have Chromebooks, and no software installs, so ship vintage media. This is simply an advertisement for a company that you can send your VHS tapes to, and they will digitize them for you happily. Um, before we go into create a video, we can look at the actions. And once I've created the video, I can share the video. This is through email. A little video card, which is a, another email situation, though, but it, it puts a little frame around the video. Um, the create DVD again is an ad. You'll just, the video gets created. The DVD gets created someplace else for money and gets sent to you. You could also upload the video to YouTube. Um, I'm going to go over to the side here for one minute. Notice this download button is here. If I click the download button, you can see three different choices. I can link to Google Drive or save to Google Drive. The unfortunate thing here is that these are Java processes, and we don't do Java on Chromebook, so forget about that. You can download the video to your computer and then upload it back to Google Drive if that's where you'd like to store it, or you can simply leave it stored here in Pixar. So let's go in and create a video. The video editor will pop up and ask me some questions in the form of a GUI interface. Um, and here we go. You can see that the first instruction says to add video, and this menu appears in front of me asking me what I would like to add. If I'd like to add a video, it's a simple matter of clicking on it, and there is my library. I could take whatever video I'd like to from my library. Let's just grab one of these. Uh, let's try this one right here. And if I add the video, you'll see it flip around, and that flip around means that it's available to go into uh, pixorial that it's already been imported and processed so we'll do that here we are with my video notice the plus signs that appear around the video if I click these my menu appears again and I can decide what I'd like to add perhaps a transition into whatever's coming next I can fade through to the next one I can come here and add a photo if I wanted to I could use photos from the library that I've already uploaded to or I could upload additional photos I'll just add this photograph in here picture of my desktop interesting. Um, you can see that I could also, if I'd like to add text blocks, which is just that, a block of text that'll show up as a, as, as a video. Um, you can add credits, rolling credits at the end. You can also, if you'd like to, overlay text or add credits on top of the previous uh, clip. You can add music as well by adding, clicking the add music. I can go through and pick from the library of um, pictorial music that's already in Interesting. We'll add that track. And let's just drag it back over here. And we'll get that right at the beginning where we like it. It's a very short track. And I can also adjust whether I'd like the music to dominate the audio or the video audio to dominate the audio. So we'll leave it right about the middle there and get a play. So it's a nice introduction to my video. Once the video is done, I can save it. And this saves it back into my library. Or I can keep editing later on. Or if I were completely finished with it, I could finalize the movie. We'll let it do its saving and we'll finalize it here in a second. Finalizing just puts it in the library for good and um, allows me to share it. 
Okay, we'll finalize that movie. You'll see the editing screen disappear. And my library will appear. And the movie that I just made will be there right in front of me. Voila. And we'll see. We're still processing it, but there it would be. Thank you for listening.